Hi guys! I decided I was going to read a fable from one of our Usborne books and I chose to do Demeter and Persephone and this in ancient Greece Demeter was worshipped as goddess of the harvest and agriculture. This story of her love and loss explains how the seasons came to be. So at the beginning of the world there was no seasons. All year round, the rain fell and the sun shone, crops grew and fruit dropped ripe and luscious from the trees. Flowers blossomed in the meadows and new shoots sprang from the fertile soil. Tending them all was Demeter, goddess of the harvest. At her side, as fair as the wildflowers, was her daughter Persephone, beloved by all and adored by her mother. But another god had his eye on her, Hades. Lord of the Underworld, had spied Persephone and wanted her for, her for himself. He went to Zeus, king of the gods, to seek permission, and to his delight, Zeus agreed to his plan. As long as he could snatch her away, Persephone would be his. Hades watched and waited until Persephone was out alone one day in a field of golden corn. As she walked among the, their shining stems, she felt the ground tremble beneath her feet. With a great crack, the earth opened before her, revealing a dark chasm. And out of it, on a horse-drawn chariot of black and gold, swept Hades. He plucked Persephone from the field as easily as if she were a flower herself, and then swept her down, down, down into the underworld. The, the chasm closed over their heads, and all was quiet. All was dark. When Demeter discovered her daughter was missing, she was inconsolable. She began to search the world for her neglected negle world for her, neglecting the earth she so loved. Flowers died, crops withered, fruit failed to ripen, and the soil turned to chalky dust. People and animals starved, but Demeter didn't notice. At last, Helios, the sun god, took pity on her. Demeter, he said, I saw on my travels what happened. Hades, god of the underworld, has snatched your daughter away. So she's in the land of the dead, wailed Demeter. How has Zeus let this happen? Zeus knew all along, confessed Helios. In a, very, in a fury, Demeter stormed Zeus's palace on Mount Olympus. How could you let my daughter be taken from me, she raged. Zeus looked down at the withered earth the starving people, and the dying plants, and admitted something had to be done. So he called for Hermes, the winged messenger, and sent him down to the underworld. Bring back Persephone, he commanded, or all is lost. Down in the darkness of the underworld, Persephone missed the sunlight and the warmth and the flowers of the world above, but most of all she missed her mother. Hades, however, treated her with kindliness and gentleness, she was intrigued by the dark caverns of this new realm, its glittering gemstones and the piteous plight of the souls of the dead. Could she, after all, become queen of the underworld? Hades sat beside her day after day, urging her to be happy, tempting her to eat. Just a few tiny mouthfuls, he coaxed, tipping some pomegranate seeds into the palm of her hand. Come, Persephone, taste them. They're like glinting jewels. Oh, this is... Hades and Persephone. <clears throat> Tentatively, Persephone looked down at the juicy red seeds. Then she popped one, two, three, four, five, six into her mouth. Hades watched her eat each one with glowing satisfaction. Then came a rushing of wind like the sound of birds in flight, and the messenger Hermes stood before them. Ah, a visitor, said Hades. I've been expecting you. I come from Zeus, replied Hermes. Hades, you must let Persephone return. The king of the gods demands it. Of course, I obey Zeus in all things, said Hades, but in this I can't. He held up his hand in mock sorrow. There is a law, is there not, that it is only possible to leave the underworld if no food has passed your lips. That is so, said Hermes. Persephone gasped. Yes, my love, said Hades, you have just eaten six seeds. Hermes paused. There was a deal to be done here, and he loved nothing more than a deal. 
If he returned without Persephone, Zeus would never forgive him and the earth would suffer. But nor could he break the law the fates had made at the dawn of time. Six seeds shall equal six months, said Hermes. For six months of the year, Persephone shall live down here in the darkness with Hades as queen of the underworld. For the other six, she may return to earth and tend to the flowers and the fruits and the soils with her mother. Persephone smiled. It is a fair plan, she said. And so, for six months of the year, when Persephone reigned in darkness, Demeter wept. The leaves fell from the trees, the land was whipped by cold wind, and her tears fell as rain. Then, in spring, when Persephone returned, the earth burst into life with Demeter's joy. New shoots appeared, flowers blossomed, and crops ripened under a golden sun. So it went year after year, cycle after cycle, and this is how the seasons came to be. Remember that that's what fables are. They tell us how things happened. So that's kind of a fun story about spring. Have a great day.